Hey y'all, for those of you who may or may not already know, my name is Alex, aka Yellowberry. Go ahead, I don't bite. And for today's segment, by the title, I am going to give you guys a full review on this hair that I bought from Amazon. Absolutely freaking love this hair. So as I stated before, I purchased this hair from Amazon. It was a quick purchase because of Amazon Prime. For those of you who have Amazon Prime, you know we are spoiled people okay my niece and my friend orders hair from amazon they normally order like curly hair so i'm like all right let me let me see how the straight hair is gonna do and y'all okay love it i purchased this hair the name of it is 8a brazilian version hair straight human hair with frontal brazilian straight hair lace frontal closure with bundle straight hair bundles with lace front <laughs> so the lengths that i got it in was a 20 inch frontal and 322 inch bundles hair is natural i usually leave my hair naturally colored um i don't ever like dye it black i look like morticia adams but i paid 145 dollars and 99 cents for this hair it's 11 dollars and 66 cents per ounce and yeah it came to me within two business days um the name of the vendor is key Rusi hair i'm gonna link it down below my affiliate link with amazon so you can purchase this hair as well and as y'all i really freaking love this hair i don't know if you can see it my first time curling it was today from what i see it's definitely holding the curl just wanted to give it a nice little kim k swirl in the back kind of effect hair is super soft when i purchased the hair i sent it straight over to miss nikki so she kind of gave me her initial re um, impression on it she said the hair is very soft it seems like really good quality it did smell like barbie doll hair so when i did pick it up from her it did smell like barbie doll hair which is not an issue because sometimes you know if you get bundles it smells like fish so i'm glad it did not smell like fish it did have like a nice little barbie doll hair kind of smell so i washed it and conditioned it Y'all, when I tell y'all when I washed it the first time, when I put the shampoo in the hair, it literally felt as if I was putting conditioner in the hair. Like, I had to let my boyfriend feel it. It felt like a, a bunny rabbit. Like, it was so freaking soft. Um, one thing I did notice about it is that the shampoo doesn't really wash out of it. Like, it'll, you still see, like, minor, like, sud bubbles. So I had to keep washing it, keep washing it. So make sure when you're washing this hair that you're just, like, continuously letting the water run through it. You're running your fingers through it because you don't want to have stiff hair when it dries. And then when I put the conditioner in it, I kept washing it out. The same procedure as the shampoo. But I didn't mind if some of the um, conditioner stayed in it. I washed out as much as I can, but a little conditioner in the hair ain't hurt nobody. So when it dried, it was lovely, so fluffy, so big, minimal shedding. So now this is the second time that I am installing that I am installing this hair. Oh, another thing that Miss Nikki mentioned to me was that the knots did not bleach on this hair at all. So to me, that gives me an impression that this hair is extremely processed. And also, it is mixed with some synthetic hair. I noticed the first time that I flat ironed this hair, I was seeing like little tiny pieces, nothing to speak of, literally nothing to speak of. I didn't see whole strands, but like little short, tiny pieces of like hair burning, melting in the flat iron. So this hair gotta be you know mixed with some synthetic hair but honestly y'all it does not bother me so like i stated before this is the second time that i am installing this hair and i didn't see that and the flat iron is beautiful it wasn't as silky when i washed it like it didn't have that nice silky effect while it was wet but as you can see dry it's amazing like it's really freaking amazing i love this hair I don't think I will order from AliExpress again. So for those of you who have any more questions, if I didn't answer anything pertaining to this hair, please let me know. In the comment box down below and I'll be glad to answer it. But stay tuned to see how I installed this wig. Hey guys, again, it's me. So right now I have my scarf on my head. But before I take it off, I just wanted to show you how the hair looked when it was dry. I washed it the previous day and I let it air dry and this is how it looks. All right, don't get scared. So I'm gonna take some eco styling gel and I'm just going to gel back like my baby hair that I had laid for the week and any stray hairs and you gonna see why. As 
So now I'm gonna take my stocking cap. I'm not sure of the brand. I found it in my drawer and I just pulled it out. I'm gonna take my got to be free spray and just spray that down. For those of you who are not familiar with the stocking cap method, you're basically just making this look like an extra piece of scalp so that underneath your wig, you know, it looks very transparent. And it looks, well, it looks like scalp. So I'm gonna keep free spraying my hair and I'm gonna put my blow dryer on the cool setting and I'm going to make sure that dries. Try not to touch it with your hands because it will get untacky. Now I'm gonna take these scissors and split down the middle of the cap just to, you know, make sure that my wig cap is not showing. When I get to the part about my ear, I just make a little slit right there by my lobe and I'm gonna keep cutting up until I'm basically cutting out a little space for my ear. With the excess cap, I just cut some of it and then I just put my ear over it. Um, for some people it may be uncomfortable, but for me it's fine and as always, one side always gets messed up. So I'm just gonna take the blow dryer again on the cool setting and use the end of the scissor just to, you know, pat it down. I look like a retired prostitute. <laughs> But I'm, right now, I am just trying to fit the wig onto my head to see if, you know, if I should push back the wig cap. I should cut some more of it off just to make sure that my wig is sitting good and to make sure that the wig cap is not showing, of course. So I pretty much have the hair where I want it to be. I'm going to take this brush, brush it back to just make sure. And then I'm going to apply my foundation to make sure that the scalp effect I'm trying to achieve looks like the color of my skin. So now I'm just going to pull my wig back forward and see again if this is where I want it to be placed. I flip the wig back and I didn't show you guys but I put some ghost bond wig glue well lace glue on a popsicle stick and I'm going to place the glue a little before the wig cap I'm not sure if you can see it in the video and on the actual whip cap I do that so that um the wig just stays on my head because sometimes when a the wig cap starts to lift the wig will lift with it so I kind of want it to be on my face I'm going to take my blow dryer and put it on a cool setting I'm not sure if I stated this before but I just feel like when you put it on a cool setting it makes the glue dry quicker and again I'm going to just follow those steps on a second coat and place the wig over the glue like magic I use the end of the popsicle stick to bind the glue onto my head slash the wig and then I just follow these, repeat these steps again for the sides of my hair. Thank you all for watching this, and I hope you learned a thing or two. Bye.